In our previous video, we discussed about the potential teammates and team comps that can perform a good synergy with Yoimiya, which link will be in the top corner right of the screen. That video also has a small giveaway by the way. So in this video, we'll be taking a closer look into two comps directly, since they are quite similar in terms of making a team for Yoimiya, which are the Vaporize team and the Melt team. Then we'll discuss the overall team in our next video, so be sure to subscribe to not miss out on that. First, we'll choose a base team for each comp that first consists of characters that are easily obtained, or 4 stars that if you do not have, you can still replace them with other 4 stars. Then, we'll be mentioning who can be replaced by who, with 5 stars included, followed up by how to build each of these characters to be a suitable support for Yoimiya. Before we start, I would like to be clear and say that these two comps are a little hard to utilize due to how fast Yoimiya's attacks are, and no one in these comps with um, either Hydro or Cryo Vision is able to match up with her speed. Some hits will perform in reverse, but some hits are going to have the reaction that you want. It's not going to be too consistent, yet it's still able to work. With that said, let's get right into the team comps. First, we'll be taking a closer look into the Vaporize team, with our base team, Yoimiya, Singchu, Bennett, and Sucrose, which is more or less a typical team, Yoimiya as a DPS, Singchu as our main Hydro proc with a very nice extra damage, Bennett mostly buffs and also heals, and then Sucrose, since she is a very strong crowd control character, and that she can also swirl the element you want for Yoimiya. Bennett here can be replaced with Diona in order to provide shield as well as healing, and also can be replaced with Xiang Ling. Xiang Ling is a very strong pyro character that damage shouldn't be underestimated. Her passive skill also allows Kuba to drop a chili after finish shooting, which when picked up gives you an attack buff. Mona is also a good option to be placed in this team comp with her amazing crowd control as well as decent hydro proc. Sucrose here, as usual, can be replaced with other Animo characters such as Jean, Kazuha, and Venti. With the Vaporize team set, let's get into building these characters. Singchu here, of course, will be using the Sacrificial Sword with 2-piece Noblesse and 2-piece Heart of Death, which also can be replaced with the new Inazuma artifact, the Emblem of Severed Fate. As for his 3 controllable pieces, it should have attack, hydro damage bonus, and a crit circlet to complete your ratio. His energy recharge should be around 180% or well over 180% to have his burst up at most times. As for the substats, you can focus on what's missing, either crit ratio or energy recharge. Diona here will be playing like she does in other teams. She can be a battery just by using the Favonius Warbow. And she will be using the 4-piece Noblesse set. And building her is quite simple. Just stack up HP as much as possible to strengthen her shield as well as crit rate if you are using the Favonius Warbo, as it generates non-elemental particles that can recharge anyone very well, only if you land a crit hit. Her energy recharge should be around 170% and should be leveled to at least 60 out of 70 in order to unlock all of her passive, and after that, you don't really have to level her up any further. Bennett is also very easy to build, just give him as much base attack as possible, which scales to how much he buffs the party. But remember, only his sword and level can affect this, so getting flat attack on your artifact won't help. Bennett here can use any sword with high base attack, or ER swords such as the Festering Desire, Favonius, and so on. His 3 controllable artifacts should be attack percent or ER if you need it, fire damage bonus, and crit circlet to complete his ratio. His energy recharge should be well over 180% to always have his burst up. For our scientist girl Sucrose, she'll be using the 4-piece Ferdison set with any EM books. As for ER books, I only recommend Sacrificial Fragment the most. Her 3 controllable artifact pieces should be all stacked on Elemental Mastery since we will be doing a lot of reactions, as she buffs your teammates with Elemental Mastery too. Her energy should be on 180% or more to be able to do crowd control with her burst as much as possible. As for Xiang Ling, she will be using the Favonius Lance which is the weapon I recommend the most, but if you have enough energy recharge already, then I can recommend the DPS type spears such as the Jade Spear, Deathmatch, and so on. Her artifact set can be 4-piece Noblesse to focus on her burst and to buff teammates, or 2-piece Crimson, 2-piece Noblesse to deal the most damage out of your burst, and the 4-piece Crimson which is a little less recommended but 
if you do want a reaction type damage, then it is also a good choice. The Emlo Severed Fate could also potentially be an amazing choice, as for her 3 artifact controllable pieces, it should have attack or ER if needed, fire damage bonus, and last as usual, a crit circle to complete your ratio. If you do have Mona, she will be an amazing choice. Rhino Sacrificial Fragment, or actually any DPS book like the Solar Pearl, Witch Sith, Skyward Atlas, and so on, would also work. Her artifact set will be best with 4 piece Noblesse to also buff her teammates when unleashing her burst. Or possibly the new artifact set, the Emblem of Severed Fate. And her 3 controllable pieces should be attack or energy recharge if needed, hydro damage bonus, and again crit circle to complete your ratio. As for 3 of the best Animo characters, Jean, Kazuha, and Venti, they all will be using the 4 piece Ferdison set as it is the best set for Animo characters, which shall aside. But as for Jean, she can be using the Festering Desire to increase her skill damage, and her controllable pieces should be attack, animal damage bonus, and a crit circlet to complete the ratio. Which is a little different from Venti and Kazuha, with different 3 controllable pieces, which is either to fully focus on EM, which I do recommend more, or use a normal DPS build. Their ER should be around 180%, including Jean, or higher, since their bursts are very strong and useful. As for our Geo Daddy, Zhang Li, he should be built with the 4 piece Millilith set to stack up on HP or the new artifact set, the Emblem of Severed Fate. And as for the 3 controllable pieces, it should be HP, Geo Damage Bonus, and Crit Circlet to either complete his ratio or HP if his shield is not strong enough for you. Which I personally don't really recommend, but it is still a good choice. Another artifact set that could be used for Zhongli is the 2-piece Archaic Petra and 2-piece Noblesse. I recommend using the Favonius Lens to either hit charges burst fast or use a damage type spear like the Jade Spear or the Deathmatch for example if you do already have enough ER. With the Vaporize team said, now let's take a closer look into the Mel team. Characters like Diona, Kazuha, Venti, Jin, Shangling Bennett, and Zhongli can also be in this team so we are not going to re-explain it here. Just um, rewind the video a bit, okay? Our base team is Yoimiya, Rosaria, Bennett, and Sucrose. For now, only Rosaria is able to proc Cryo well, other than Ganyu, which is a 5 star, and Keia, which is way too close range for Yoimiya. So, this team is a little less recommended. Rosaria here will be using the Favonius Lens, or if you already have enough energy recharge, then you can use a crit rate main stat spear, like the Jade Spear or the Deathmatch. Her artifacts should be 4-piece Noblesse Oblige if you want to focus on buffing your team, or the 2-piece Blizzard or and 2-piece Noblesse that I recommend more in order to do the most damage output with your burst. As for the 3 controllable pieces, I recommend using Attack, Cryo Damage Bonus, and Crit Rate as you want to stack up Crit Rate as much as possible on her so she can give it away to her teammates, which is 15% of her own. As for our sweet Coco Goat Ganyu, she will be using the Favonius Warbow or you can actually use DPS type weapons like the Prototype Crescent or the Blackleaf Warbow. Her artifact set will be 2 piece Blizzard, 2 piece Noblesse, which I think is the best choice so she can deal nice damage. Her 3 controller pieces should be Attack, Cry Damage Bonus, and also Crit Circlet that will complete your ratio. She doesn't need that much energy recharge, so just focus on building her as a damage dealer. Also, keep in mind, do not use 2 characters with 4 piece Noblesse Oblige in one team since it doesn't stack. Also, since Yoimiya might be switched off field after her elemental skill worn off, you can either add another DPS into the team or use her as a sub DPS. Or add a sub DPS. <laughs> In short, make sure your support are not built only to buff Yoimiya but also to sustain themselves. If we did miss someone or an important detail, please do say so in the comments, but please remember to be nice and respectful while speaking your mind. Also, if you do find this video enjoyable or resourceful at any point, please consider liking, sharing the video, and subscribing, as that will be massive help for the both of us. Anyways, with that said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!